Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you this Beauty and the Beast Stained Glass Rose Shadow Box tutorial. So I'm going to start by taking this um, 8x12 frame and you can choose whatever size you want but this is the size that perfectly fit with the wooden box that I found. And I found all these materials at AC Moore and Michaels. I'm sure any other craft store would have similar things. Um, but the first step is taking black puffy paint and painting the front side of the glass. And um, this template, I found one online that was hand-drawn, so I traced over an illustrator to create a cleaner copy. Um, and so I'm going to see if I can link that below so you guys can use that if you want to create your own. But basically, yeah, I'm puffy painting the front, and then I'm using a Q-tip and tissue to clean up any mistakes that I make. Um, and you can do this when it's wet, and then once it's dry, you could use a needle or a staple or, like, your nail, I guess, to, like, scrape off bits if you messed up or made a mistake. Um, but be careful not to scratch the glass. And so this project took me about an hour or two to finish um, while watching TV in my pajamas, as you can see. So it's not that big of a t um, time commitment, and the result, I think, is really nice. Um, so... Yeah, basically, um, that's the first big step. After that, um, I flipped it around once it had dried, and I started filling in all the leaves um, and everything with color. And so the colors I used were based off of a pin um, that was in the Disney stores um, this March. And so if you Google, like, stained glass, Beauty and the Beast Rose pin, I'm sure you can find it. Um, and that, it, the pin is beautiful. It has, like, glitter and everything. Um, so if you want to cover the glitter, please do. I'm sure it will look amazing, but, you know, I wasn't about to deal with the glitter. So I just used acrylic paint in similar colors. And um, it takes about three or four coats for you to get a nice opaque finish. Um, and you can check by, you know, flipping it over and looking at it through the light whether it's thick enough, um, but you can just use the colors that I did, um, which you'll see at the end, or you can choose your own. It's really up to you. And the tip here is to wait for each layer to dry before going in and painting a second coat to make sure that it's really um, nice and opaque. Um, also, I want to apologize because my camera stopped filming when I did the red and gold portion, so you won't see me painting it, but uh, you will see in the final product what it looks like, so I, you can probably gather the technique. Um, also another tip is that um, place the glass when you flip it over on the frame so it's not touching anything and doesn't stick to it. Anyways, here's the final product. Um, so now I'm just going to paint the inside with this taupe color. You can choose whatever color you want. And then I'm attaching hinges with some crazy glue um, to both sides so it can open. And then here's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, leave a comment down below any other tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Bye!